Why are you guys so quiet? So I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up? Are you having fun? <laughs> what can you be doing? Did you just see what he was doing? <laughs> are we? <laughs> Find a knife! It's an intruder! <laughs> oh my god, the best thing in the morning wilderness right now. Coffee. Like, it's literally what I thought it was wilderness coffee. Wilderness coffee. So I'm about to take this wilderness coffee drink into my wilderness mouth. <laughs> it tastes wildernessly good. What's up guys, so welcome back to the channel. We're gonna start this video now. So we got Mamiya 645. I know you guys just watched the video of me doing what's in my camera bag. So now we're actually camping. Straight to the video. So the Mamiya 645, I'm gonna be doing a test between uh, the Porsche 400 and we got Fuji Pro 400H shooting 120. So it's gonna be lit. I'm shooting this all day. I'm not gonna do a whole recording every shot, but we're probably gonna review the shots at the end and see how they came out. I'll try to get as much footage of every shot, but yeah. So, um, yeah, already shot the Royal Portrait 400. Um, I'm just enjoying my time here. I'd love to do like a full shebang for y'all, but this is my resetting day. Um, I'm gonna review the pictures, the full comparison. I'm back home and I've already seen the pictures. But other than that, enjoy some of this beautiful water. Listen to that. Everything's peaceful. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done for the day. For the weekend, not for the day, for the weekend. I'm about to have another coffee, but yeah, I'm gonna go check out the pictures after, but we're just gonna have a coffee first. That was mine. Oh, it the smells aroma. so good. Oh, the aroma. So I'm about to have wilderness coffee. The trees look beautiful today. Everything looks beautiful. It's nice and bright, but yeah. Other than that, see you back at Way Better Studio. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got the pictures in. I'm excited. They actually came out really good. Um, one thing I would have changed for sure, which is noted for next time when I'm doing a video like this, I'm going to make sure I shoot 35. And yeah, just shoot 35 pretty much. <laughs> like I'm um, shooting medium format. It's such a, it's such a big sensor that like a lot of the pictures came out of focus like and i obviously i could have bumped up my f-stop to try to get as much in focus but like i guess because the sensor is so big and the lens i was using was not really perfectly meant for this um some of the pictures came out blurry but bear with me this is just a test um and guys when i'm gonna be sharing my opinion this is not what i think is the only way or like this is the best film stock like it all depends on what you want to use. So I'm just trying to discover this as much as you guys are. So I would love for you guys to put a comment down below and let me know. Like, let me know what you guys think was the best or like why you thought this was good or that was good. And I'm also going to give you guys my opinion with that. But just to get straight to the video, let's look at the pictures right now. I put them up on my Mac. Um, I believe the left side. Yes, the left side is Portra 400. The right side is Fuji Pro 400. Okay, Fuji 400. Okay, <laughs> Fuji Pro 400H. Um, so yeah, so I got most of the pictures. I do have some missed shots and some blank shots, and I don't know what the hell happened. But again, we're just gonna look at the most. It's just a quick comparison. Um, I did rate the film stocks for like 200 on all of these because usually I'm used to just um, scanning the film myself. Um, so I usually bump up the, 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 I usually shoot at a lower speed, uh, which is like, if I'm shooting 400, I'll be shooting at 200 cause I want to retain some of the information when I'm going to scan. 
but um i don't know why i did it for this i should have just rated a 400 stupid of me but it's all buenos is cool so i tried to use those film stocks the best i could so let's look at the two pictures that i chose that i believe would be perfect for this comparison i don't want to go through the whole entire roll of um pictures but i i will at the end but this is just for comparison basis based off of the title so um here i have two shots i do have this one this one i was actually trying to focus on the car but uh, on the jeep it is a little bit further so it's again big sensor problems it will pick out exactly what you focused on but um yeah so with these two pictures so we're talking about characteristics what i believe is the best from my, from my perspective the fuji pro 400 it is fucking fantastic the one this picture on the right side is a better view of how it really looked like this is how green they, the, 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 the the leaves looked this is how the scenery really 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 looked here it's a little bit washed out i lose some of that green but it's it's portrait 400 what do i expect right so like it's more the the, the portrait is more it's trying to i feel like it's trying to mimic skin tones with <laughs> With like, what you call it? Like with, with like scenery, which it doesn't work. Like this is green. Like it's not a, it's not a filtered green where it's like, it's not a, what, what what's the best way? Like it, it added a color cast of like a bit of brownish slash like warmth. It pretty much warmed up the picture a bit. So I lost the extreme greens in here. So, um, yeah, the, the Fuji Pro 400H did very well. Like it looks really neutral in this section so i believe the fuji pro, pro 400 is the best for this kind of scenario where it's like nature shots i feel like it'll render the best colors possible so let's look at this picture right here you can see that a lot more like you could definitely see that a lot lot more uh portrait 400 is trying to do his portrait thing and get those nice warm colors it's not skin tones portrait and then you look at this, which is the, and then you look at this, which is the Fuji Pro 400H. It's rendering those greens well, really, really, really well. Like all these greens, this is legitimately how it looked. Like if my eyes were to pick it out, I would say it looked like this. Here it looks like it was really hot, like it was super hot, but it wasn't. It was really gloomy and it, it wasn't able to capture the, the, to render the colors really well compared to the Fuji Pro 400H. Even with this, like even with the brown, with the warm parts over here that were actually warm, it still was able to render those. Um, even this scenery was not true to color. Like I, I remember seeing this, it was not true to color at all. Like this is like really portraitish. Like you know what I mean? Um, it's definitely trying to do its portrait thing. I should call it. This is called a portrait thing. Yeah, this was taken in the same scenery, uh, just behind us. Uh, yeah it's definitely trying to do some portrait there's a lot more greens like i don't know like i don't think so like even the greens here with the with the fuji pro 400h they're really good they're really good greens but yeah so even this like this is a lot greener this is a lot lot greener i'm not gonna go into the portraits because the portraits are completely unnecessary um i don't know why i took him but just for comparison and reason we're just gonna go look at the nature because this video is about nature yeah but i don't think I, I'm going for the Fuji Pro 400H. I'm gonna put the pictures down below in the link down below. You guys could get to take to take a look at the pictures, the high quality res. I am gonna take the portraits out. I don't like them, and I don't want to show you guys them. They're terrible. But um, I might drop the one that I actually like and I actually scanned at home myself to show you guys the kind of difference of control you have when you're scanning at home. But um, yeah, so so yeah, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in as usual. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, it's my first time doing this kind of video to do with comparison, so bear with me with the quality. I was recording on my Mac and figuring out the audio and all this other stuff was really tough, but you guys know the quality I bring out. I'm not happy with it, that's why I'm kind of putting a disclaimer, but you guys are probably not gonna notice there's anything wrong with it. And guys, please do keep in mind, I'm learning with you guys, so like, um, all this stuff is like, it, it's fun, it's really fun to do, and I'm figuring it out. So I'm no expert in no way in all of this, this is just my opinion between the Fuji Pro 400H and the Portra 
400. Um, if there's any other techniques you guys want to give me or any other suggestions to make this video a lot better or make a better video in the future, tell me down below. If you dislike the video, tell me why you disliked it down below and then we're going to get it chopping. We're going to get it fixed up, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get it and we're going to grow the channel. Thank you guys for constantly supporting the channel is growing and i am extremely happy thank you for the feedback i'm getting a lot of great feedback um other than that this is the fuji pro 400h versus portra 400 give me any video suggestions down below i would love to listen to them like comment share and subscribe please subscribe to the channel it's gonna help me and the channel grow and i have a ton of new content so you better subscribe like i have a ton of new content coming um like i'm quitting my job for all of this and yeah yeah so like let's get it chopping we're gonna get i have a lot of cool tricks to do lenses and like getting proper effects going so like Here's a little thingy to subscribe. So click on that little thingy to subscribe. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Shop by Shingy. Follow me on Instagram at Shop by Shingy. Booyah.